We'll be finding out exactly how film directors create their all-important... ...civil theatre started life in a tent in 1951. It was the dream of the late John Stewart, and today it flourishes in a fine new building. Visitors come from far and near, and if they stay for six days, they can see six plays from a repertoire of comedy, classic plays, and modern drama. Leading the cast this season is Mark Winter, who I remember as a very successful pop singer in the 60s. Mark, the proud boss of this theatre is stay six days and see six plays. That's Herculean, isn't it? Well, it's a big burst, isn't it? Yeah. And when you see it written up, you think, is this possible? Can you see six plays in six days? But you, in fact, you can see seven this year. What parts do you play? Uh, I'm, I'm Lord Windermere in Windermere's Fan. Yeah. Joe Mulvaney, the American in While the Sun Shines. Elliot Chase in Coward's Private Lives. Dearth in Dear Brutus. And Captain Crouch in Sly Fox, which is an adaptation of Volpone. But now, I remember you, and everybody remembers, Venus in Blue Jeans. What a memory. <laughs> what a memory. The memory man. I wonder what happened to you. Oh, me and Leslie Welsh. <laughs> but but uh, how did you make the switch? How, did, how come you made it? Well, I, I, singing uh, purely, it, it's, it's very enjoyable, as you know. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a great communicator. It gives you great contact with people. But I, I found it, personally, a bit limiting. You know, I felt, I felt that I could do more things, and I, I wanted to do more. And I used to go to the theatre quite a lot in the 60s. And uh, I thought to myself, I could be up there doing that if I had the opportunity. Yeah. I think if you're, if you're pretty determined about something and you, you, you make up your mind that that's what you want to do, uh, then you can make avenues in that direction. One compensation for all the hard work you're doing is the wonderful surroundings you're working. Well, I think that's the chemistry of opposites that, that helps you get through it, really. When, you, when you're faced with so many different things to learn and so much, uh, uh, it's relentless, really, so yeah. much work all yeah. the time. Uh, and your head shifting, you know, even in one day, you do one play in the afternoon and a different play in the evening. Good, yeah. So that's quite a head shift, you know. Um, but the thing that, that gives you the counterbalance, really, is when you look out all around you here, the scenery is so exhilarating and spectacular that I think that helps you keep an even balance. How do you keep fit, then? Because you have to get out and about, haven't you? Well, I, I'm, I'm one of the running brigade, you know. I, I you? run quite yeah. a lot, yeah. When I run now... Aside from my, what I call my daily mobility check, <laughs> make sure it's all still working. Yeah. Um, what happens now is it's my, what I refer to as my own quiet time. I mean, some people meditate and some people go to church a lot. And church going is a part of my life as well. But I'm not a, a regular every week church goer. I mean, time actually precludes me from doing that quite frequently. But when I run, particularly up here, where everything is so spacious and wide open. I mean, just from the point of view of, of the surroundings, it's so, it's so basic and so beautiful, and it's all there for free. And I think this sort of circumstance really diminishes what goes on in a city. And when I run, I find... First of all, I find myself getting in contact back with myself each day. And also, I feel being a lover of the elements as I am, it doesn't matter to me if it's raining or whatever. I mean, even sometimes run in very light snowfall. But when I'm running, I honestly feel that that is the, the main time when I feel in touch with the man upstairs. And I feel that uh, what he has provided for us is, is so solid and, frankly, far superior than anything that man could ever come up with. Thanks very much, Mark. Let me talk to you. And now from someone firmly established in his career to someone about to begin hers. Her name is